This tiny little gal here is the most venomous spider in the country, the noble false widow. And the moves are sticking up. Today I've travelled to a friend of mine's greenhouse, as I'm told it's riddled with false widows. This makes sense as this species prefers warmer and humid environments. And after a little bit of stretching and fumbling, I was able to catch an absolute beauty. This little gal here is the most venomous spider in the country, the noble false widow. And yes, that is its real name. It's named, of course, after her American cousin, the Black Widow Spider. The Black Widow is almost entirely black and has that signature red pattern on its back. The False Widow, however, is almost entirely brown, but occasionally has a white pattern on its back. Now this white pattern has sometimes been referred to as looking like a skull. However, I don't personally see it. Now it's a common misconception that daddy long legs are the most venomous spiders in the country. This isn't true for two reasons. One, the daddy long legs isn't even a spider. It's a species of crane fly. And two, their venom is extremely mild. That being said, although this species here is the most venomous in the country, that really isn't saying much. Their venom is extremely mild. I've been told that it's about the same as a wasp sting. So it might cause you a bit of pain and a little bit of discomfort, but you're really going to be okay. Now, of course, some people have pretty bad reactions to their venom, just like with all animals and all species. If you're the type of person who's allergic to say a bee sting, chances are you'll be allergic to these guys as well. Not only is their venom actually quite mild, but they're also an extremely docile species, and they're very rarely inclined to bite. Most bites that do occur are usually because they've been accidentally pressed against the skin, or if they're aggressively picked up. But if I had this girl in my hands right now, I'd be very confident that she wouldn't bite me but I think she's much calmer on this log here. The noble false widow is actually an invasive species and shouldn't be here. It's believed that they arrived here from the Cayman Islands on cargo ships, and they had a very stable population along the south coast. However, in recent years, they've been climbing further and further up north in the country. And it's believed this is because we're having warmer and warmer winters, which means they can survive the harsher climates up north. This species isn't just invasive in the UK, and it's now believed it's found its way around almost the entirety of Europe. And it's also believed that the false widow is one of the most invasive species of spider in the entire world. Like a lot of spider species in this country, the noble false widow is an ambush predator, which means they'll sit and wait for their next meal. Most commonly they eat things like small invertebrates, but they have also on occasion been known to eat small vertebrates as well. The horror stories that you hear about this species, so many people are scared of this tiny little spider because they've been led to believe that they're just as deadly and just as toxic as the Black Widow, but it's just not true at all. It is pure fear-mongering. In fact, around 12 people a year die from wasp and bee stings in this country. But do we hear about them at all? No, all we ever hear about is this little guy here. It's a real shame, as they're really incredible animals. Of course, it's not too ideal that they are an invasive species, but they're still amazing nonetheless. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, as always, consider checking out some of my other stuff, especially if you like nature 
and wildlife. Cheers.